Hey everybody, Pookie TVX here. Wanted to talk about the Michael Jackson story again. It's really, it's really weighing on my chest, man. It's really weighing on my chest because the shit just ain't right. I mean, y'all think about it, man. How many, how many other people that can do this shit too? How many other people can they? put these trumped up ass charges on people they trying to stick it to anybody this is the thing that bothers me y'all and, 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 and y'all let me know if I'm wrong when Michael Jackson made was making Thriller he had talked to his mom and his mom said it was bad because of how they, because of their Jehovah beliefs. She said that that was bad, right? When she told Michael Jackson that, he flipped out and he told them to burn and scrap Thriller because he didn't want to burn in hell. He told them to burn and scrap Thriller because he didn't want to burn in hell. Okay. So a person that would do that, that's scared to burn in hell for that, why would they molest children and think that it's okay? If you have a strong belief that you believe in, that's going to get you to God, and you don't want to do a video because it brings out like demon, demon type video, why? Would you molest children? That's a hundred times worse. The only way that Thriller even came out was because of how how they how they made it, how they directed it out to people. As it's just a that's why they did the dancing scenes and everything when they turned into the monsters. That's why they did the dancing scene. And when he walked out from the movie, they played it like it's a movie. He was, it wouldn't have been no thriller. It wouldn't have been no thriller. If they wouldn't have talked Michael Jackson into making it to where it's a good, to where it comes out in a good way, he was scrapping that. He told them to burn that, to, to get rid of everything. But yet he's raping kids. That don't sound like a person that'll rape kids to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, and then they play in the in the in the um the documentary last night. They played, and I hope my phone don't cut out because it's been every time I talk about some serious shit, this is, it start it, it it just fucks up. But when I talk about some ignorant shit, it just goes on and on and on. Okay, but. In the documentary, Mike, they put in there this video that Michael Jackson made to where it was a, um, the way they made it look, it was a birthday wish that Wade said was for him because Michael called him little one. And when you hear the voice of the, of the video, it says, um, hi Wade. But then when the hi Wade voice doesn't match the rest of the birthday wish so it make it seem like it's this fucking like it's this fucking creepy you know attraction to this kid it makes it it makes it come off if you're not a smart person or you can't read between the fucking lines you'll believe that there's some creepy weird shit going on and it's not it's not but they can cut and crop and edit shit to make it look like that that's what they do they can cut and crop and edit it and make it look to a certain way. When they did this documentary, it was three people. Wade, the dude Jimmy shot whatever the fuck his name is, that punk dude Jimmy shot whatever, and the and the person that's doing the film with Oprah's support. And that and don't let me get on that bitch. 
Yeah, that's right. I never did like Oprah. Never. I know I can see through her shit. I know who she what, what she about. She ain't right. She ain't right. But anyway, so they cutting into scenes of different people. They bring up the kids' background and how they met Michael and all this shit, right? And then the dude, um, Jimmy, grabs a box with some jewelry in there that he got from Michael. He say he got from Michael. It's a shitty ass fucking ring. Look like a goddamn gold plated fucking, look like a gold plated ass fucking ring with some shitty little ass fucking diamonds across it. <laughs> you think Michael Jackson couldn't get no top of the line shit, man? He's gonna give him that shitty ass. D See, it cut out once again. I'm back on it, man. And, um, let me get back to it. So he tried to make it seem like, um, like Michael Jackson giving him a fucking wedding ring and all this type of shit. That the way they the way they spinning this fucking the way they spinning this shit, man, is making it look like it's a fucking creepy ass fucking old dude trying to fucking marry a kid and all this shit. And Michael Jackson took care of these people, pet families, took them, took them, treated them to shit that they would never have been done before ever, ever. It's it's just it's just fucking crazy to me, man. It's just crazy to me, man. If you guys don't think this ropes around to all the fucking other entertainers and all the other people that's going through shit, man, you guys are fucking sadly mistaken. Sadly mistaken, man. This is a fucking tactic that they fucking use, man. This is what they do. This is what they do. They do this type of shit, man. And they make it, they spin the narrative to make it seem like they just fucking creepy ass fucking person, man. They just fucking. And the shit is just fucking. This shit is insane to me, man. And then the kids try to make it seem like, oh, our turn was up. So we still, so he went and got some new kids that took our spot. And yeah, I was kind of jealous on that because, um, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then for him to get on there and say, you know, after we started talking and then um, it, it didn't feel right. But then when he touched me again, that, it, that felt right. It felt like I was back in his, in his graces again. Who the fuck says that, man? Who the fuck thinks like that? Are you fucking kidding me? This shit is just fucking crazy, man. This shit is crazy, man. And this man is dead and they come with this. And when you beat a case and you beat the case, the shit is over then. This shit is done. Why the fuck are we taking a trip down memory lane for? This shit is done. He, uh, he's, he was found innocent. What the fuck? But that's what they do. They want to refresh your mind and refresh you to know what the fuck you to put it to where they want you to put it in your fucking head to make it seem like this person is this badass person and all this shit just like the R. Kelly case we all know R. Kelly a fucking um, a, a freaky ass creep we get that but ain't he supposed to have um, due process ain't he supposed to have a fair trial you know how many white people got off because the jury box was fucking white? Emmett Till, that's one. But look what they did to George Steiny. 14 year old boy. Made him sit on his Bible when they electrocuted him. They sp okay, they're gonna keep cutting my feet out, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. But um, George Steiny, man, they set him on his own Bible and electrocuted that little boy, and they got off. They beat the shit out of Emmett Till to his fucking. You couldn't even recognize him, and they got found not guilty. This shit is not set up for us. It's just not. It's no innocent until proven guilty. We know that's fucking bullshit. We know that's bullshit. 
And with this R. Kelly shit, they not going to give him a fair trial. They not. They not. They planning on they planning on putting this boy under the fucking jail. And it ain't gonna it ain't gonna stop at him. This is the thing that y'all don't understand. It ain't gonna just stop with him. It's gonna go on and on and on until all the powerful black men is down or 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 feminized. That's all they want is gay black men or no black men. Any type, of, any type of masculinity, they coming for you. This Michael Jackson shit, man, it's just fucking ridiculous, man. And it just shows, man, the demonic, the demonic people that's out there, man, that just, 